Hello everyone. So today I decided to make a quick video on how to pass props from your child component to your parent component in React. But before some of you are like, mm, no, you can't actually do that. You can't, you can't actually do that. Yes, yes, I know. That's why I called it a hack in the title. Is it a hack though? I don't know, who cares, right? You've come here because you basically want to find out when something happens in your child component or when you make something happen in your child component, you want that to affect the parent component, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how. So first off, before we start, it is my developer duty to tell you that you can't actually pass props from a child component to a parent component. You can, however, pass functions. So what we're going to be doing is making the child call a function that in turn changes the state in the parent component. And once that state is changed, you've guessed it. The parent component is going to pass that information down as props into the child. Got it? Good. In this super simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this with React hooks. So I'm going to be updating the word parent in the parent component right here by clicking the button in the child component. Cool. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's do this. Okay, so this is my setup for React. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and made a parent and a child. The child hasn't been put inside the parent yet. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that in a little bit. I've imported React for us to use. I've also imported some styling to make the parent look like the green box that it is and of course just put a standard h1 parent uh h1 tag with the word parent in it okay now the child is similar it's got an h1 tag with the child word in it so we know it's the child that's simply just for us and a button okay the button at the moment has no functionality but but it's there okay first things first let's go ahead and import the child for us to use so import child from child, there we go. That is done. So now we've got the child component in here. Let's go ahead and put it in our parent component. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the child component right here. There we go. We actually don't need that, let's just close it off. Okay, so now if I click refresh, ah, oops, I've got the wrong uh, path. So it's actually my components folder, I believe. So let's go ahead and find that. So in here, components, because that's where I stuck it. Standard mistake. Save and let's compile that. Okay, so now we can visually see our parent with its child component inside. And as I said, the button is there too with no functionality. Now say I wanna do something in the parent that will affect the child, because as we know, props are passed down from parent to child. If we wanna reverse that, well, we can actually use a function. So let's go ahead and do that now. In the child component, we wanna add a function on click of the button. So on click, and then let's open this up like that. On click, we want something to happen. Now we know that on click, we wanna change the parent word. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's put a function in here. So this is an arrow function. Okay, now we want to change words. So this is the function that I haven't written yet. We wanna change the word on the click. And we wanna change the word to, I don't know, Anya, why not, sure. Okay, so now we have this function here. Obviously we are failing to compile, that's natural. What we need to actually do is go back to the parent here and in the child component the function that we wrote set that as a prop so change word let's open this up and now we're going to get that word or prop and we are going to use set word word so if you haven't uh, used hooks before, I very much recommend that you look into that now because I'm going to be using the use state. So let's import that first, use state. Okay, and I'm going to be updating the state of this parent with the use state hook. So const 
then word set word. So this is essentially what we've got here. If you know hooks, you will know that this set word will essentially, in a way, I guess, set this word to be whatever is passed through here. Okay, use state. And we're going to start off with the state being parent because that was our word parent, remember? So if I actually set that to here, so I, I, when we start this up and we use state, I want the state of word, so I want the word to be parent. So now if I actually replace this with word, let's click save, that will show up on the browser, which we obviously can't see yet. We still have one more thing to do, and that is go back to the child and pass props. Because this is essentially, if you remember to the beginning of my video, we're going to be invoking a function or calling a function the child, which will then in turn update the state here. So like that, and then here, and then we need to pass it back down again. Okay, so that's what's happening. We need props. This function is also a prop, so props change word. Let's click save. Okay, so now when I click the button here, Let's actually maybe make this more readable for you guys. Okay, so button, click change, button. Okay, so now, when we click to change title, ta-da, it is changing to Anya. Now, what I said before, this word here is essentially whatever we, so if we refresh again, so this is back to the start, I can use the state to update this word at the beginning. So I'm gonna change this to Bob. And if I click save, Bob is there. Okay, so Bob is our word. Use state Bob, Bob, Bob is our word. Now we wanna change Bob. So we do this with the help of what we've written here here and here. So now on click, we invoke a function because this is an arrow function and we use the function to change the word in the state of parent to Anya. So there we go. Simple. Okay, so this was like a really quick video. It's just something that I found quite useful and I thought I'd address if any of you were ever thinking about how to pass props from child to parent but hack, because as we know, it's not really possible. You use a function. Okay, thanks so much for coding with me. If you enjoyed this video and find it useful, please do let me know so I know to create more like this. Uh, do like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.